Hi, I'm Ted from Omnimetrics. Today, we're going to be installing a G8500 monitor on a Generac H-Panel controller. All we're going to need to do this is the small Omnimetrics screwdriver and a regular sized Phillips head screwdriver. Mount the antenna on the roof, run the cable through the louvers, down into the cowling, and then we'll pick up the next step. Okay, we're going to install the power cable by raising the little trap door on the back here. There are two screws that hold it in place, so we'll loosen those two screws and then we'll tuck the cable in. It's just a two-wire connection. Okay. So Josh is tightening the screw to hold the door open. Now we're going to tuck the cable in and we're going to leave the spade lugs hanging out on this side so that we'll be assured that they won't short anything on the inside. So he's just going to tuck the connector there to make sure that it doesn't come loose. And then we'll move around to the front to finish the installation. Okay, we're back around the front looking at the front of the controller. We'll open up the, the hinged front door to get to the interior where we're going to make our power connection. Inside we'll find the red and black wire that we poked in from behind. We'll pull this through, maintaining good control of the spade lugs because we don't want them to get in the wrong place. We're going to be connecting to the terminal strip at the top, and on that terminal strip, on the right-hand end, there is a wire number zero where we'll connect our black wire, and then on the left-hand end, there is a terminal number 13, which is the battery plus value for a 12-volt system. So I'm going to move back, get out of Josh's way while he attaches this. The order of connection doesn't matter because we don't have a load on that cable. It's not connected to the Omnimetrics unit yet. So you can connect the Battery Plus or the ground in either order that you like. Just make sure that you maintain control of the spade lugs. When we're finished with this connection, we'll go back around to the back and close the access door that we left open in the previous step. Okay, we're all done. Uh, in cleanup, it might be reasonable to use a wire tie just to uh, control the wires, but we are done with that power connection. The final step will be to connect the monitor. Okay, back around the back, it's time to close the little trap door. So we just loosen the screws, slide it down. This keeps the critters out. And then the last thing we'll do back here is we're going to put our cables up on top of the controller box because we're going to then go back around to the front for the final step and we'll install the monitor from the front side. So the power cable and the antenna cable, we're getting ready to go to the front side. Okay, we're back around the front where we're going to finish this process off. You'll notice that the switch is set to off throughout all of this install time just to make sure it's safe. You see the wires and cables that we put up on the top from the rear side, the antenna cable over there on the left, the power cable on the right. So we'll start by putting the G8500 monitor module up on the top. Josh is going to straddle the antenna cable with the magnetic feet just so that we can contain it a little bit better. Next thing we'll do is we'll put our serial connectors on and we'll start with the Generac one. It's labeled Generac End and it just simply plugs onto the diagnostic port down at the bottom. We'll come back and tighten the screws last. Next we'll plug on the 9-pin connector for the Omnimetrics end. Okay, and then let's go ahead and add the antenna cable in order to shorten this little video we'll leave the screw tightening out but at this point we have antenna connected power connected and you can power the unit on so just flip the switch on the front you'll see LEDs starting to do their thing 
and then there are instructions for what to do next, but that completes the installation on this machine.